Dear Diary, today I took the first step, the first step in becoming an ADHD coach. I can't actually quite believe it. I want to learn, grow and build something extraordinary. I think this journey will be... Shh, the Indigo Diary. Dear Diary, welcome world to the Indigo Diaries. And welcome to our exciting new series, Series 2, The World Through a Trainee's Coach's Eyes. And that coach in training is me, Tasha Hicklin. The Indigo Dies for a podcast who wants to learn about ADHD through others' experiences. So welcome back. And to start today's session, like I always do, I'm going to kind of give my little celebration for this week. So had a week off, a very busy week, but a few positive weeks. And... As things are starting to move forward with my life, you know, when things get really busy and quite overwhelming, sometimes one thing that always seems to go is is myself and my self-care. And this week, the last two weeks, self-care, I've actually done it. And I'm really proud of myself. Even within the busy moments, I've given myself time off. I've let letting myself do my little things like my exercise and things that are important to us. So that's my little celebration today that self-care is so important and even when it's really really busy and my nature is to do it's also nice to be and so that's my little celebration today it's been a good week and i'm ready to get started so i only have two weeks left of my course and then i'm ready to go and so this really is going to be kind of the promoter episode of series two and then we're going to go on to series three which i'm going to be announcing in a few weeks about what that is that's very exciting so let's get started so today the next step we've looked at what adhd life coaching is we've looked what it is what it's not how it's different from other professions today we're looking at is adhd life coaching are you ready for it you know we talked a lot about what coaching is and what it can benefit you the challenges that you have but are you actually ready is it really right for you we know how to find one we know all the different keys to ADHD life coaching now but are you ready and i want you to really think about that as i ask that are you ready for ADHD life coaching you know thinking about coaching and actually being ready is very different you know we think oh you know i need help i need help and you know we go online we book it but but actually thinking about it doing the research is very different to actually being ready within yourself so these are kind of my little tips the first step is really thinking about exploring and doing research about what coaching is and then if it's the right step looking at what it is you know going back to other episodes and looking at what it is going on websites and researching on what it entails and then thinking is this the right step get all the knowledge you can okay go and meet coaches which we talked about last week to get some ideas but really looking at the research and that's a big thing looking about what it is and what it's not because you may look at things and think that other things might be more beneficial that's the first step is doing your research. Next is, you know, then it's actually thinking if you're actually ready. Okay, and it's looking at, you know, have you is your ADHD kind of managed in other areas? Is your life managed in other areas? Or, you know, looking at your own life, have you explored therapy, healing of the past, different types of management, sleep, lifestyle, you know, exercise, food, you know if you want to medication if you don't want to that's fine and you know if there's something else that's more dominant than actually wanting to move forward like the past or things you know going on then it might not be suitable and then you might need something else first before ADHD life coaching because as we've said ADHD life coaching is a partnership right it's not somebody telling you what to do it's a partnership you've got to be able to show up as a client as a partner but are you ready to show up as a as a client is there other areas of your life that need your attention first so for me if i if i not dealt with my past and therapy i don't think i would be able to go through it myself last year 
for me, it was the right time. It wasn't straight away after I was diagnosed. It was six months later. It might be when you when you feel like you're going to do some studying and you and your lifestyle. You're not going to be perfect. We've not got to have everything managed, lifestyle managed, you know, management sleep. But it, there is, there's got to be a balance in order to be able to take action and make action for the future and start looking at your beliefs and how you work and understanding. There's got to be a level of of being ready and um, we looked at this a while ago and Petraska's change model is a really good one to use to help and it's got kind of five steps to it pre-contemplation contemplation contemplation, preparation action and maintenance and pre-contemplation is kind of anything that happens with change happens with this model and it's a cycle right you know we might be ready to change another one part of our life but not in everything and you know, pre-contemplation is kind of when you've not even thought about coaching at all, okay? So it's kind of before coaching, right? You've not really thought about it. You've not really thought how it can help you and things like that. You know, we're discussing the more contemplation section, right? Where most clients come in, they're contemplating moving forward. They're not sure. And then that preparation, action and maintenance is what happens during coaching, right? And for different parts of our lives, we can be in different parts. You know, it's not linear. We can go round and round and round and round. You know, for my lifestyle, I might be in pre-contemplation. But for moving forward with ADHD medication, I might be in action. i am started it, okay? It, it It's looking at, I've posted it below, and it's looking at where does, where can ADHD fit in in your life? How, what, what do you really want to get out of it? And then seeing, are you in that contemplation area? You know, if if for, you know, dealing with the past, we're still in, you know, pre-contemplation, we've not really thought about dealing with the past, then that could be more dominant than that could actually be a barrier in your moving forward in coaching. And it's really looking about what you want to get out. So that's my fourth one is what you want to get out of coaching, specific change that you want to make. And then thinking, can coaching help you get that specific change? You know, we all have different change that we want to make. I wanted to understand my ADHD, learn to work with it. Okay, work with it, give myself permission to to work in a different way, to be who I am. I didn't need to go through the past and, you know, everything else. And it does manifest in different parts of your life, but it's really looking at that. So my, my kind of tips are, First is exploring and doing research on what it is, okay? Next thing, are you actually ready? Is there something else that's more dominant that you might need to go to first before you go to step three? Step three, looking at that this model and looking at different parts of your life. Where are you? You know, are you ready to start taking action to help? If you are, then yeah, let's go. Go to coaching, contemplate it, go. And then where? what do you want to get out of it? You know, what goals and specific change do you want to make? If you feel that coaching from all your knowledge, then you've gone, no, everything else is quite managed. I, I'm contemplating it. I'm ready to go. What do you want to get out of it? Yep, specific. Then are you ready? And those things I think are really important, kind of good starting points to finding out, are you ready for ADHD life coaching? And if you're not, it's okay. Everybody's at different points of their life on different parts of the journey. And that is okay. You don't need to be ready. You are ready when you're ready. When we come back in, in part two, we're gonna, we're gonna ask you some questions, just some, a series of questions to really get you thinking about if you're ready to take that next step and have an ADHD life coach. And we're out. If you would like any more information on Indigo Hub or our Indigo support group, then please check out our website below or our link to our social media platforms or email at indigohub.adhd at gmail.com. If you would like to offer any comments, feedback, get support, or if you're interested in the world hearing your story, then please reach out through any of our avenues. As said before, have a positive week. 
check in again later and we're out and we're back and before the break we were talking about are you ready for ADHD life coaching we know what it is now thinking about are you ready and I kind of gave you some little tips about how to kind of prepare yourself you know because it's a commitment right it's a commitment it, you know it is it is it is pay money when you pay money you're committing to something right you want you don't want to pay for something it's like a gym membership right oh how many times I've had a gym membership and I've not used it it's like a gym membership if you it's a commitment so you want to make sure that you're ready and you want to make sure that it's going to benefit you and not be pressured and if you're not ready that's okay and if you're thinking oh my goodness I don't know I don't know then that's what this is going to be some questions and statements to get you thinking so I'm going to start and it's just some questions are you for, to think about are you ready are you ready to take new steps come out of your comfort zone try and grow from your experience yes or no are you ready to accept that you don't want to be fixed you cannot be fixed and you want to work with your unique adhd brain wiring rather than against it you want to learn about it and you want to grow of how to work with it, not be fixed. Yes or no? Number three, are you ready to enter into a partnership with a coach and create a life for yourself that is even better and not be entering someone telling you what to do? Are you ready to be in a partnership, not be told or led? Yes or no? Are you ready to be active and take ownership of your life to move forward? Are you ready to take that responsibility and take that action and accountability? Are you ready to be transparent, open and honest about experiences with your partner that is your coach? Are you willing to face and recognize beliefs, fears, and challenges in order to look at them in a new light and work with them to move forward? Yes or no? Are you ready to see coaching as an investment, as a commitment for your future? Are you ready for a non linear way of working ups downs ups down ups down but even when they get down you're ready to get back up are you ready to commit and be prepared to be on time and be present for all your coaching appointments and number 10 are you ready to be committed to take care of yourself in all the different areas of your life during coaching and have support systems if you need them. That's my 10 questions. Really think about you, not someone else, you. Think about you in that situation. If you've answered 10, great, you ready, go, go and get a coach. If you've, if you've answered four, don't be hard on yourself. Think about how, not how can you make yourself ready? Think about what do you need? that maybe a coach can't give you right now? What do you need? Not what you should get, what do you need? Coaching might not be for everybody. Everyone can benefit from it, but it might not be your time and that's okay. Everybody's on their own journey, okay? And this is just me yet again, just trying to give you the most information that you can to really get yourself thinking. Like I said, it's a commitment, it's an investment, it's pricey and it's hard, it's challenging, but what might be at the other end of it can be incredible, trust me. And it's not up and down, it's not linear, it is up and down, up and down, up and down, 
But if you're willing to put in the work and move forward and you're ready. And when none of us are perfect, none of us are going to get this first time around, right? But if you're willing, that word willing, to do all those things and try your hardest, which most of us usually are, then you may be ready. And if you're not ready, it's okay. Everyone's at different stages and journeys of their life. And just acknowledging where you are is always the first step. And guess what? Where you are is enough because it's your journey of your life. So next week, I will almost finish my course. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. So next week will be the last episode of this series and it will be about reflections and then next steps about what series three may offer. And I'm really excited. I actually cannot wait to take the next step in coaching, in my yourself and in my clients. And thank you for coming on this journey with me. And I look forward to giving you the last verbal processing session next week. It'll always be a verbal processing session by podcasts. But I really hope that you've got some insight on what coaching is, what it's not, and if it's right for you. My encouragement for the week is this. Who you'll be next year, that's unknown. Shock yourself out of your comfort zone because that's going to lead you to the next version of yourself. Are you ready to take that step? Are you ready to take that step? If you're not, that's okay. Acknowledge it. Praise yourself. And maybe later on in your life, come back and you may be ready. I hope you come learn, listen and experience the world through the eyes of a coach in training. Why not? Have a great week. Take that first step. And we're out. Dear Diary, as the training process goes on, it makes me stop and wonder, could there be more for us? More light, more possibilities and a place where we can truly be ourselves. I think this journey will be 